Hey, welcome to uh, Chaplain Chat. I'm, I'm doing this in our music sewing room. Not that I do music or solo, that's Gail's thing, but this is where I'm uh, doing this. Hey, this last week in the jail, I wanted to share with you the uh, the Bible study we just got done doing. It was really a, really a hoot. I had a great time. But it was found in Matthew chapter 16, uh, verse 13. Let me read this to you. And it says, And Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? You know, you know it's an interesting passage. I, I, this happens towards the end of Jesus' ministry. I believe Jesus knows that his time is coming to the end. You know, he only has about three years, if you think about his whole span of his ministry. Um, and, and it's almost like he's asking, is the word getting out about me? That, what, who do people say? What's, what's the word? What's the talk? And so his disciples, some of his disciples say, you're like John the Baptist or Elijah or Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And then he looks at them and he says, but who do you say I am? It's almost like he's saying, I really don't care what other people are saying. <laughs> it's like today, I don't care what your church says. I don't care what your pastor says. I don't care what your religion says. You know, I don't even care what the chaplain says. <laughs> But who do you say I am? See, that's the big question, isn't it? That's the big question. That's the question we're all going to have to answer someday. Our salvation depends on our response to that question. Our walk with God, daily our walk with God depends on how, that response to that question. But who do you say I am? And Peter says, you are the Christ. You are the Son of the living God. And Jesus says to uh, Peter, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. Because flesh and blood, blood didn't reveal that. It was my Father in heaven. You didn't get that, Peter, because you're so smart. My Father revealed that to you. You know, I, uh, that, is, that is such a powerful event. You see, I can answer that. And it's almost like Peter answers that. And he gets like an A+. Plus. Wahoo! And how, how, because I believe that Peter's with Jesus, or and he's with Jesus because he's in relationship. That's the key word I'm thinking of more and more. Has nothing to do about being religious. Has, has nothing to do about being professional or social. It has everything to do with being in relationship. There are men and women in our jail that are in relationship with Jesus Christ. Or they're discovering your relationship with Jesus Christ. And if you ask them, in the midst, of, even in being jail, when the world's caving in on them, who is Jesus? They would say he's the Christ, the Son of the Living God. So Peter, he's right on. But I have to share one more thing with about Peter because if you go on and read in verse uh, 21, 1620, Jesus starts to predict his death. He talks about going to Jerusalem, how he's going to have to suffer under the scribes and the Pharisees. And, and he's going to be put to death, but rise on the third day. And then you'll read Peter. Peter pulls Jesus aside. And he rebukes him. That's, that's, it says he, re, he rebukes Jesus. He rebukes God. And he says, God forbid it. This should never happen to you. And then Jesus looks at Peter and says, get behind me, Satan. Get behind me, Satan. Wow. It's like. Peter gets an A plus one moment and an F minus the next moment. How can you go from being right on with God to right off with God? I had an inmate, by the way, we were reading this passage, and he said to me, Chaplain, uh, you know what's interesting about this passage? I go, a lot of things. What's that? And he goes, he doesn't say, he says, I, he doesn't say get behind the Peter. He says, get behind the Satan. He says, we, we really need to be careful in our witness that we continue to love the person. We, it's almost like I think the message he was saying we hate the sin but we don't hate the sinner we, we got to be careful in our ju judgment of people and I thought it was passage and they're all, all the other guys are going yeah 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 get behind me Satan well one moment Peter's getting an A plus next time he's getting an F minus how can that happen how easy it is for us to fall out of relationship that's why I I, I encourage the men and the women in the jail to, to stay in Christian community. That's why I need to stay in Christian community. Oh, guys, 
when we're, we're when we're in relationship with Christians, when we're in relationship, then I don't care if even if the world's caving in on us, we remind ourselves who Jesus is for us. He's the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hey, I've got a question to ask you as we move closer to the cross. Who is Jesus to you? When your storm is happening around you, and it's happening with a lot of people in and out of jail, who do you say Jesus is? Stay in relationship. Stay in relationship with other believers. You may not be happy with what's going on, but you'll be able to say, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hey, God bless. See you next time on Chaplain Chat.